Well, you see, what has happened today is a typical example of the relationship between Pakistan and Pakistani occupied Jammu Kashmir. End of the day, Pakistani occupied Jammu Kashmir is uh, Pakistan's colony, and Pakistan is a master. So today, at the ceremony that was held in Mangla Dam, the Prime Minister of Pakistan forgets about the victims of uh, Mangla Dam. Those hundreds and hundreds of villages that were drowned uh, to give uh, room for uh, Mangla Dam. The families that were uprooted, uh, who are known as uh, Mutasireen and Mangla, affectees, Mangla Dam affectees. He forgot to uh, talk about their uh, uh, sacrifices. On moreover, he didn't even invite the uh, Prime Minister of uh, Pakistani occupied Jammu Kashmir. He happened to be there to attend the ceremony, but he wasn't officially invited. And then, uh, when the Prime Minister of Pakistani occupied Jammu Kashmir raised this question of why the Pakistani Prime Minister Shabazz Sharif has failed to uh, address Kashmir and thank Kashmir and the people of Kashmir who have given their most fertile land of that region for the for this dam. The Prime Minister of Pakistan, instead of talking to him or replying to his uh, query, instructed his guards to uh, to um, be rude to the Prime Minister of uh, Pakistani occupied Jammu Kashmir and they, 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 they were very rude with him. So I think this is the time that the Pakistani occupied Jammu Kashmir's ruling classes should also realize that there is no room for negotiation. The only way for POJK is to get independence from Pakistan.